YouTube. It's your boy. Who's the last fitness today? We're back in the gym. We're in Bradley. Six in the morning. Only one's here. What are you Bradley? You good? Yeah, man. Yeah? It's good. Um, we're going to be doing a pool day today. Uh, pool day, day two. And yeah, we're doing rack pools first. Done a couple warm up sets. Now we're getting into the real stuff. It's starting to get rough from here. And I'm excited. So always got the hoodie on for the beginning of the workout when I feel like I'm getting hot, take it off and still do my thing. <laughs> Pretty much. That's how I roll. Um, get to work, Bradley. Ready? You're not gonna survive this, are you? Let's see if he survives, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get to this. What's good YouTube? It's your boy, Moose Loves Fitness, back with another commentary. And today's workout is a pool workout. Now I've started off by using the Smith machine. Now, the Smith machine, some people will be like, why Smith machine? Why not free bar? Now, there's two reasons why I love using the Smith machine. Number one, it cancels out that noise, that banging noise that you normally do with the bar um, because I lift quite heavy when it comes to rack pulls. And number two, you can focus just on the pulling and not have to focus on the whole stabilization and control. You know, you still have to control the weight, but the whole stabilization. But the thing, the bonus about stabilization and control when it comes to the free bar is that it does add stress to your back and which leads to more growth. So, yeah, free bar, Smith machine, it depends on the person. I personally like the Smith machine simply because all my focus can just go on pulling and just, just, just stacking it on my back. Um, so I started this program with the Smith machine and I'm going to do the whole 12 weeks with the Smith machine. But yeah, if you want to use free bar, go ahead. No problem. Me, I have a lot of old people. And so it kind of in my gym. So it kind of annoys them that the whole banging noise. So I, I chose the Smith machine, you know, still can get my gains, still can get some good man progress. And uh, yeah, I love the Smith machine. Now, don't get me wrong. Um, this is only a test session basically i had like three days left in the week and i was like you know what instead of starting my program now i want to start it on monday so this was a saturday i think or friday i can't remember but this is pool session two and i'm just literally just testing out the wilderness next exercise is the straight barbell curl now as you can see on the eccentric part of the movement i'm really slowing it down slow 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 now this just adds extra stress to the bicep and as you can see the weight is not crazy heavy but i also want to reduce the amount of swinging that i'm doing so that's why i chose a lighter weight the exercise after that that we did was upright rows not many people like this exercise but i love it and i think it's a great exercise for rare delts although i do do other exercises for rare delts but this is one of my favorites and again on the smith machine so I can really just focus on the whole getting it, just 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 rowing, <laughs> you know. Um, but obviously this is what a month and a half ago I recorded this. Um, so yeah, I'm doing it free weights now. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's a drop set, and I wouldn't advise anyone to do a drop set if you're trying to get stronger. Um, again, this was only a test session, so I really yeah, I was just testing it out. So that's why I did a drop set. Now I don't do no drop set simply because I want to get stronger. So my rep range should be around four to eight reps at max. Um, if I can do more than that, I need to increase the weight. That's just the way I'm going about it. Or my rest period needs to go down. There's certain ways you can make like progressive overload in order to grow. And that's what I want to do right now. I just want to grow, work on my weak spots and just keep developing. Exercise after that is lat pull down. And again, I didn't go too light, I didn't go too heavy. Um, I can normally do around like a, what, 100 and something on this now. Um, for reps, back in the day I couldn't. Um, so this program is working, we're like week five and my numbers are going up, which I'm happy about. But hey, you, gotta, you wanna pull your elbows in to your side. You know, really pull it in. Second to last exercise is reverse cable fly. Now this one, you wanna keep your chest up and you wanna pull from your chest you want to pull your you know what i mean pull from the chest forget your arms don't bend your arms too much as well really just focus on them them chest gains them breast gains you know trying to get them double days <laughs> now this is the final exercise i did a superset in this program there's not many supersets simply because 
Again, I'm trying to get stronger. Supersets is not the way to get stronger. You know what I mean? It's them them heavy ass weights. <laughs> so we're doing a concentration curl on the cable machine. And the reason why I like this because it adds resistance on the way back. It's like it's pulling you. So it just adds extra stress to your arm. Um, cable or dumbbell? I, I would say dumbbell is probably better. Because, yeah, I don't know. I just say dumbbell because I love dumbbells. <laughs> and we superseted it with face pulls and that was the workout ladies and gentlemen uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this i will be having more videos coming if you have any suggestions or what you would like to see let me know and i'll catch you guys in the next video i'm out peace so that's the workout complete now we're heading on home body fragile it's a good session if you guys enjoyed it make sure to smash the thumbs up if you're new to the channel subscribe join the love life squad. It's your boy, Musa. Okay, come on. I'm gonna stay fasted for a couple more hours and give me some good man food. Love life. Love life. Love life. Peace.